Hey, are you, by the way, are you ready for the interview with Taters and Wag? I am, yes. I can take that. Right. You'd be, be cool if I drag them in right now? Yeah, that's perfect for me. All right, there you go. Welcome. Good luck. Hello there. What? Hello. How are you guys doing? I, I notice you have formed a new tag. It's just cosmetic. I don't remember that being there when I played Phaeton. It's, it's, it's the Yanshin formable. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, it's um... It's just the Renum with a different flag. Because we are funny. And we are obviously a gold scale aligned team. True. That's a, fa that's a very fair point. Uh, so yeah, would you like to introduce yourselves and uh, let us know what it is that you do in Anbina? Alright, Tatus, you start. So... I'm a contributor, I'm the art lead, and I'm a balance team member. Uh... Same for, yeah. Okay. Same for me. I am Vagenzo. I uh, I wasn't here before, but I was probably on the stream a few other times. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I am um, and my roles and I'm in a server are mostly for re uh, reviewer roles. Um, I'm experienced contributor. Though. Um, I have content uh, currently at the roles contributor, uh, reviewer, balance reviewer, and systems reviewer, and I'm kind of a go-to person for religions when it comes to systems or balance reviewer side. Okay. Um, so what? I'm, I'm I could be around the bush and say, oh, so what is it that you've been working on and all that? But <laughs> like I, I've already said it in in my chat, and I've already like praised it to high heavens. Uh, uh, just everywhere else talk to me about the absolutely delightful uh artificer rework because i I've, I've i'm just i fucking love it <laughs> i'm not gonna beat around the bush i yeah. fucking love it it's awesome that's great i mean let's start first where my part kind of is from the beginning of it sure um so the artificer rework actually started a very long time ago. I think it originally started when I joined the balance team and Tatus was also still new. So I think one and a half years ago, but at that point it was just concepts really. They never got implemented for some reason and it stayed for a long time uh, like that. And then at some point, I think a few months ago, three or months or four months ago, we were like, fuck it, we just do it. Right. And then we pushed it further. Um, and then it became to in this state where it is now. Um, I think first the question to answer is why did we even do it in the first place? Artificery compared to other systems like the adventurer system was functional, you could say. Yeah. It did what people might imagine uh, it would do. But we were uh, like, nah. It actually doesn't really, because artificery in its old version was essentially completely linked to colonizing Aerodont. Yes. Um, you, you either do it or you don't, and that is kind of your game. There was also no scaling for other techs, for example, or Gulliver. Um It was supposed to be artificery aligned, or Heodabor, as an other uh, Dwarven hold. Yeah. But realistically, the player has absolutely zero chance to reach Aerodont, nor does it feel great to do this. Um, plus there are some other scaling things, like for example, the first invention that you suddenly unlock could be Mechanim Warriors, and you're like, okay, so the first thing I do is we build Robot Warriors. Yeah. That also obviously didn't <laughs> work well. No, for sure. Uh, it was always a case of, obviously Mechanim Warriors were huge, but um, Vorpal Bullets uh, and the uh, Spark Drive Rifle were always ones that are ones that if I got those, I was pretty happy if I got them early. Uh, and if not, then it was kind of annoying. But, yeah, yeah so... What... How how did the... What you've come up with, like, how did that come about? Like, um, what inspired this particular, uh, like, implementation of it? Mm. having it be in its own so, like UI and and the way that it's unlocked like where did that idea come from okay the UI side the status I would just do the other idea things so essentially we came uh, with the tech tree because like that is kind of the inspiration from it yeah um very early in the concept when it first started like that one and a half year ago um we also had this tech tree idea it was actually around the time that uh, uh actually I think it was her less released because 
or was it Terraria Series? It should be. Um, where we rebalanced the artificial inventions together. And that was sort of where we came up with the tech tree idea for it, for the progression. Right. And currently it, it feels like more like a tech tree, but it took inspiration from, uh, and sort of took on the style of the Stellaris tech tree. Right. That you have to research certain technology levels, kind of, and once you have researched enough from them, you progress to the next tier that is available. Right. Oh, yeah, that idea come. And now, Datas, you can take it from the other things. Oh, you are and shit. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we made an AI. I don't know. And uh, in UI, <laughs> I don't know. Get it open. Um, yeah, I, you need to open it for me, unfortunately. I can't. I, I don't have uh, the ability to click your buttons. Okay. Uh, so, I have it open now. Yeah. Um, um, so, one of the main issues with the, with the artificial system as a whole is that you are stuck with the with the um privileges from the from the estate and it gets very cluttered because there are 100 inventions so if you have everything in the list there it's very yeah. hard to choose what you want to enact and what you don't um and it also kind of limits the the estate itself cannot have any privileges because it's so cluttered yes um so with the new patch, there are now possibilities to make custom UIs. Yeah. And that's what we are used. That's what we use now to create this. We used assets from, from U4, which we repurposed for the UI. Um, it's actually pretty annoying and complicated to do. <laughs> uh, it was a long work and we we now made it so that you have all the different generic tiers which all get their own page where you can choose them yeah and then we have a page for the cultural tier which is only available if you have something of this culture right and you have a page for the unique tiers and i since i'm as fight and have unique tiers i also get this tier otherwise you cannot click on it right um we also made it easier to interact with the system by, by uh, recoding everything and allowing now for like, you can say my tag needs one more possible invention to click. You can do this now with a simple um, variable change, etc. Um, okay. So yeah, this was one of our goals is to change it so that it's easier moddable than before because the code was a big mess. So yeah. We, we re we've rewritten everything and to make it now streamlined to be used for anyone. All right, that's awesome. Um, yeah, one of the one of the things that I had felt with um, the previous system of that Wag touched on was not everyone could really make use of artificery because you needed certain trade goods. Uh, you needed to have precursor relics, dames tier, coal. And that's either conquer Eardent or get lucky or wait until the very end of the game and get lucky um, or have like the, the right positioning. So what is it now that gives you the, the amount of capacity that you want? Um, how has that changed? Well, I guess I'm taking the potatoes. Can you hover over the capacity? Uh, I think Lambert can also hover over the capacity. Uh, I can't in this menu. He needs to go back one menu. There we yeah, go. Yeah, I can see nice. the capacity. Yeah, so now we essentially said that everyone has a base capacity, which is also a big change from before. And some other things got streamlined, essentially. So, for example, and now with t over time, you just will have more capacity and end up with more way more than the beginning like this 50 capacity for example is about more than anyone ever got beforehand yes. like 200 to 300 percent but it's like the minimum amount that you need to kind of make use of the system yeah uh, because also i forgot to mention that i'm sorry i now disables the major state as yes. a balance reason so this interaction is also more visible the fight between artificery and magic uh anyway the other things that you can see, especially the relic thing, which was a big issue, I think, right. is now that essentially you have to trade share. You only need a certain percentage of trade share to get a maximum bonus. It doesn't scale into the infinity. Plus, you can also make use of it if you, for example, don't hold the provinces yourself in colonies. You just then probably play a trader republic or something and get a lot of trade share just naturally by existing. 
Right. Um, or you also get it from the colonies. Colonial tax are not affected, but other people have more ways to increase their trade share. Some people like Dravara tax will naturally not get mo uh, anything from it really, but it's still there in this better av availability because they maybe can get something from Halles if someone opens there and digs up a lot of precursor relics. Um, and some other things got changed as well. Like coal, for example, went out because it's more Magitech. Right. In, um, I forgot the other name for it. Doesn't matter. Uh, and for example, university also doesn't give bonuses anymore. Right. But and yeah. I think that is like the changes to the capacity that happened, most of them. And overall, you will pro we actually made a kind of nice spreadsheet from it. Okay. Uh, I will probably send it after the session, so for the video, you can put it in or if you want to. Um, where you can kind of see what m you, ki you will kind of end up with on certain time thresholds of what capacity you can kind of play around. At oh, minimum yeah. and at maximum with certain I think only like three or something. Yeah, yeah. I definitely have to take a, a look at that. Yes. Um, so yeah, in like I said, I, I'm currently using a version of this system. I'm not sure if it's been uh, rebalanced since uh, between when I have it in my game and the dev clash now or what it might be in the future. But I'm currently playing mm -hmm. with it at the moment uh, as the gnomes. And I gotta say, like... Obviously, it's it's very powerful. It's very powerful, but that's not really the reason for me like enjoying the system. Like being powerful, obviously, is very enjoyable, but just playing with the system just feels way more satisfying, um, and it feels like more tangible. These the the UI, especially that you've got with uh, like these safes, unlocking them. Obviously, it costs to unlock uh, various ones, gold and mana. Um, but it feels way more tangible. Uh, like you're actually interacting with the system rather than pressing buttons, if that makes sense. Um, so mm -hmm. I'm, like I said, just, just for me personally, holy shit, GG, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm very mean, happy. You, you, you play now on the tag which was the most affected by the change? Yeah. And it, it it was already a tag which was the the kobolds are not really able to compete with you, oh, um, like even without this change because it's just yeah they they are the tech behind on you so yeah. it's it's very easy and yeah this also coupled with the admin with the military change for the goblin uh, for the gnomes. Yeah, this was is a bit overtuned. We already did some changes to them right. to tune that down. Yeah. Um, yeah. What goes but into you're currently on the unleashed version? So. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did sort of notice that a little bit. Um, what what roughly are we expecting in the late game then to have like as your artifice capacity? Because I at the moment I have I think I've unlocked like one tier three um in the game that we're currently in uh which is 15 30 15 40 ish 15 50 ish maybe um so what kind of like artifice capacity are are firstly the gnomes and then uh more generally people going to be expecting to to get up to in in later years okay so the so everybody who, who unlocks artificially early essentially gets one capacity every five years until 1650. Okay. After 1650, everybody gets passive increase over time at a very rapid rate. In okay. 1820, you will be at 200 capacity. That is enough to really like because the the tier threes are like 30 capacity each yes exactly yeah. and having seven of those you're about 210 uh so yeah being able to fill out all those that feels quite quite strong it's very very quite strong especially when you have your um all of the other you know mission tree bonuses and such that you get in there as well um 
I've got a question here. Will missions grant permanent capacity going... Uh, are they going to get buffed to account for the higher capacities as well? Or are they going to stick around the same amount? Like, are any uh, mission trees getting updated to go along with their system? So, in general, it's a bit... Uh, it, obviously, it's not a Steam release version yet, because, as Tater mentioned earlier, we need to rebalance things. It's a multi-step project for us. For now, for us, and I think we can... Tra we will transition... In so in the short future to the next phase, but currently we're still in phase one, where it's more of the implementation si uh, side, where we right. want to make sure it works and it feels good. Then the second step is kind of just balancing things. Right. right? Uh, for example, some of the writing is missing in st uh, from step one still. Yeah. I'm not sure. If that, I don't think that finished yet. Um, but I'm not following too closely on the writing. It's in review. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, everything's written, but they're reviewing it, and then I will implement yeah. it. Uh, the, bal the balancing, obviously, that is another big pro change for it, because as you said, it's too OP right now. There's no <laughs> other way to say it. Yeah. You could have get too much value out of it, but like it's an important thing that it doesn't feel shit. Yes. Like it, because it's a, a bit of a balance nightmare, because you have to balance for the middle mode, but also where you have half the capacity only, but you also have mages at a lesser rate. Right. Um, and also the full artificery mode, uh, mode. The capacity helps a lot to regulate that. So we know what is home oh. <laughs> that is allowed. Um, but in general, we need to cut some things. Right. Um, and then the third step is essentially just finalizing. And the third, the finalizing step encapsulates all mission tree things, for example, because they are very specific with also the mission tree specific inventions, because yeah. they might be too good then after the rebalancing ETC, ETC. Obviously, the most mission rewards right now, they, from artificial capacity, I think one of the highest, uh, oh no, the highest is our clan, but for example, to put it in, I think it's at 15, which is comparatively nothing. Then Reveri has 11, and Nimsot gets 9 capacity from the mission tree. Right. Uh, that, that, those numbers feel bad. Yeah. Well. So, yeah, they, they get adjusted. That's but not it's enough for a step. single uh, invention. So, definitely, yeah. yeah. That, I mean, yeah, rebalancing is, is part of the process. Um, but, in a way, it also, sorry to interrupt you, but it's, no, it's also funny for me to like think about it how little capacity most mission trees gave out and obviously you don't want to give out more than the artificer tech that nims got is yeah um and they only get nine but that is kind of the value number that the artificer or the old artificer system i should say expected you to play with which was really not a great thing yeah are there any plans then to add more inventions now that you have this uh funky ui like if if you want to click on the inventions thing again uh for me um like for example on page one i feel like you that you know the society inventions you could shuffle those bottom two over to the left a bit and add another couple in there there's there is space for that um it, are, are there plans to add more inventions to you know give people more options more things to play with more toys i guess uh, yes. yes. Nice. That that that. All um, I needed. One word answer. That's that's, that's absolutely fine by me. The <laughs> free is the best thing where to see it. What we mean. Sorry. I think the, the issue a bit is that um, currently they, most of them are just like stat sticks, right? There's like reform progress plus fifteen percent. Um, but we're actually using privileges, and privileges are some of the most moddable things in the mod. So. I actually hope that if we do more inventions, they should be more like interactive, some sort, or like specific for, yeah, for specific thing because they're so freely interactable. Right. Uh, all right. This is this is a a question really from. Oh, actually, no, I can actually see it there. Okay, in the version that I'm playing, the golden gearbox does absolutely nothing. Uh, but now I can see that it gives your capital. I think that is. Uh, gives... 25 dev cost. That's kind of yes. crazy. Okay. Gonna, gonna have to ask Seb to update his mod to give me 25 dev. No, no, no. He's gonna it, say no. This is, this is the nerfed version. Before that, it gave local development cost modifier. No way. Of local <laughs> development cost. It, 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 no, that's true. It was a misclick from me. <laughs> and this, I wrote it wrong in the code. We, we don't want any occurrences of dev efficiency. It's just way too easy to 
totally get out of bounds. Yeah. Yeah, that would be that would definitely be a bit a bit strong. I mean, there's a lot of things in here that are also still very strong, but for sure. Um there is all right, I have a complaint. It is an single complaint. Um some of the uh inventions when you click them um stop showing you the bonus that you're getting. Uh for example, portable turrets. When you click it, um, before you click it, you can see that it gives shock damage received minus 20 on your artifices. But then when it's selected, that text goes away, so you can't actually see it anymore. And I, I have a terrible memory, so I forget what it does. And I'm like, oh, it doesn't do anything but give me siege ability? Let's just take that away. And, and then I get sad that I have to spend to get that back again. Uh, that's literally my only complaint. Everything else is just exceptional. Like, Yeah... Tooltip is, it, I mean, it's just a lot of work, but it's something we're on, we're on it, so. Yeah, perfect. Um, so what are the kind of unique um, inventions that are available? Like, you have access to that tab, though. I can't see that you have anything in there when you clicked on it, I so. I assume I should get one in some years. How long does it take? Something to do with your mission tree, perhaps. I'm researching one now. Yeah, no, okay. like some modes. I can explain it a bit with Phyton. Uh, Phyton is a bit of a special case. Most techs get it through the mission tree, like the special inventions. Yeah. Um, but Phyton needs to research them. And he also gets it as a special option because Phyton in his menu, um, there are different options for the tiers. If you progress, uh, I don't think we explained, I don't think Shaders can show it right now, except if it maybe comes off cooldown next month or so. Um, but essentially, you can pick different options. Fighting has one specific option, be always fighting related. So you can progress or get your special unique things. Okay. Uh, and I think Tatus apparently clicked one of them. Yeah, I already Which clicked one, but it's not yet researched. I assume it will be in the, this year or the next year, because it's five years, so... Okay. Are there mm. any plans to give... Um, more tags earlier access to the system or is it is that a case of when you would have gotten it before that's going to still be the case like i personally am totally fine with giving earlier access and i think i hope it will be done more but it that's currently not the case right um because it probably the rain will get earlier access now and We'll see about the rest. Oh, I can imagine just a lot of every single artifice invention they have is just a different potion. That sounds delightful. Yeah, they all they they even have pictures. Just because you you asked me once about pictures, they have I, pictures. I I do. I I did have an, an idea of uh, of getting art for every single different invention, uh, but then I looked at how many there are, and it's like, oh, that's. That's a whole. That's a yeah. whole lot of uh, different art pieces. That's kind of the issue, right? Yeah, it's just too much. I still kind of mm -hmm. want it, though. I still, I still. Sub... Everyone wants it. Yeah, <laughs> but it is a lot of art, and somebody has to draw that because, yeah, no AI. Yeah, I that's guess the, the main issue. It's just a lot of stuff to do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I it, it feels like. You know, you have this super sexy new system, and then, but to play with it, you have to choose various tags, of specific tags to play with it before, like, kind of just the late game, really, because, uh, what is it, Artificery, the Age of Artificery is what year? No, it's not Age of Artificery, it's linked to Manufacturing, so okay. 1615, or once you embraced it, which is like five years later. Yeah. So I, I feel like, yeah, getting people into it earlier is something I'd like to see so that more people get to experience this system, basically, because it is such a cool, like, system in and of itself. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe something to do with the, the, the people who have it early being able to spread it in some capacity or have the technology be stolen or something along those lines would be really cool, I think. But yeah, I, I am... Okay, here we see. Oh, yes. I, I actually got the event now. 
Uh, so, so that's a that's a fighting invention. That's also why you have the airship picture where there's the flying ships. Yes, that's cool. And now I will click on. I hope I don't know if you see the events I get thing. Uh, that's harpy migrants. Don't care about those. Yeah, yeah no, 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 I'm just like. Yes, I, I am seeing your inventions, oh. and then you research. Uh, because I'm fighting, I get fighting options. Oh, okay. Oh wow, that's a very juicy one. I will definitely get this one. I am a big fan of yeah the ivory conduits for all power costs. That's the yeah. okay. You're getting tier three. No, that, that must be in yeah. your unique ones, then? That's unique fighting. That's fighting specific. Okay, so you're, you're getting um, what is effectively a 2-3, because that's what, like, they cost 30. But you're getting them very yeah. early because you're fighting. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's... We, we maybe could do some stuff on, like, optimizing this, but it's, it's a lot... Like, fighting is a mess in the code. It's just... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's a mess in the code. It's it's so huge. Like fighting fighting code alone is like bigger than like five other mission trees together. Um, so it's very hard for us to adjust this very nicely. But it should should be something we do that we limit these to the correct uh, to okay. the correct tiering of your artificial estate. I also very much like the idea of having them be changed based on other factors. Like for this sky conduit. Uh, it gets boosted or upgraded if you have the trading bonus for ivory. I like that. That's something really cool. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean with they're very moddable. Okay, so there's a lot of... Yeah, this system is exceptional and it, it can also be expanded, I imagine, pretty easily. Um, is it a case of the... You would need to rework the UI if you added like a new tier one invention. You'd need to um, do some UI fudging to move things around, or would uh, no? We already made dummy dummy stuff for everything. Okay, so we can just add stuff. Of course, there is a limit. Like we cannot, we have to have some limit of what can be displayed. Yeah, uh, we're currently nowhere touching this limit, and. Yeah, so we're like we're not too worried about uh, yeah about the limits at the moment. Uh, otherwise, what always can be done is we might be able to do another tab, right? Like we can make these all a bit smaller and then fit a new a next another tab here if it if it's really needed. But I hope not. Okay. The next big change to the artificiary system as a whole will probably come when the mechanism in INSEA will get added. Right. Okay. Because they will have special interactions with the system overall. That's really cool. Um, yeah, I think you've answered all the questions that I have. And is there anything that you would like to uh, shout out or or uh, explain further or anything you would like to talk about? Because uh, I look, I'm I'm just I re I really love your new system. It's so cool. Uh, I'm a, yeah, right, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a fanboy, you know. That's 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 just me. It's fine. <laughs> to all like also people who play with you, if you have comments for the for like balance, etc., there is a thread in Umbenar, and I listen to uh, to the stuff. And so, if you have comments, feel free to come and comment. Yes, for sure. I have. I I will. I will put my own balance concerns there. Clearly, the gnomes need buffing. Um. <laughs> <laughs> What I would say from my side is, I think people, whenever we sit Steam, if some people don't like playing Bitbucket but still watch this content, I give it a try. We really all recommend it. Um, and also give the middle mode a try. Because that is also, I think, a unique option once it's completely finalized. Right. Where you have both as a combination, because that is also a unique feeling. To it. Yeah. Oh, you didn't explain I think that people for people. People are overseeing that. What? That's oh. that's something you get at the very start of the game. You can choose yeah. pure artificery, no. middle mode, and uh, pure mages. Uh, uh, only after everything. Uh, only when you unlock artificery. Right. Everybody else starts in mage only mode. Right, right, right. Um, yes. So yeah, middle uh, going middle of the road and having... Is there going to be some kind of interaction then between the mages and the artificers 
working together somewhat in the middle mode? Is that is that going to be anything to do with that? So there actually should already be stuff there in the game. It's just that most people haven't ever seen it. Um, yes, I, I hope so. It's just a question of... Um, Honk your horn if you like Somebody devices. putting it into the game. Right. Um, all right. Well, thank you very much for uh, bringing me around the artifice system. Just once again for me, thank you for putting this in because I I fucking love it. I think it's amazing. Um, and I am super excited to see where it goes from here. Uh, I want I want more more inventions, more. Oh, it's, yeah, it's such a cool system. I love it. Um, but yeah, thank you very much, uh, Tears and Wag, for having a chat with me. It's been a pleasure. Sure. Yes, thank we you. Also, for thank us. you for this opportunity. So, uh, yeah, good luck with the rest of your uh, campaign, and maybe we'll have uh, another chat later. Uh, sure. sure. Right. We will see. Bye bye. Bye bye. Fucking love it. I I don't know if I managed to explain just how much that is entirely all of my shit, but it is so my shit. I love it. <laughs>